Bob? Good morning, Carl. Uh, so sort of a mixed open right now. Uh, tech is lagging again, but that's sort of been the case for the third quarter. Uh, interestingly, real estate and financials, particularly banks, are leading, and that's a very interesting phenomenon here. Uh, we are halfway through the third quarter right now, and I just wanted to give you a quick review of what's going on. I think it's very interesting that the leadership so far still remains the small caps, despite that uh, terrible week we had in small caps last week, the Russell 2000 uh, up 4.3 percent, the S&P 500 equal weight up 3.7 percent, and they're outperforming the S&P 500. This is the first six weeks here. This is halfway through the third quarter. S&P's up 1.5 percent, and the NASDAQ is down 1 percent here. So if you look at the leadership groups here. Um, they're interest rate sensitive sectors uh, so far. Real estate is leading. Utilities are leading. Uh, that makes some sense because we've seen interest rates uh, trending down. Uh, and that's a good sign. Uh, financials are also leading. And I mentioned banks as a leadership group here. It's good to see them rallying because, in a sense, they're interest rate sensitive, uh, but they're also um, uh, economically sensitive. So uh, it's good that the financials are in the leadership category as well. And then we have some defensive sectors, consumer staples and healthcare, perhaps not terribly surprising. The laggards are growth and cyclical. So tech's been a real laggard. Uh, it's very interesting. Tech was the big story in the first half of the year, but not so much uh, in the second half of the year. Energy is also a little bit down. Oil is lower this quarter. Perhaps that's understanding. Uh, and consumer discretionary and communication services are the big laggards, down almost 4% of communication services. It, and that's because Alphabet and Disney have been big laggards. They're so big that they've been dragging down that particular sector. Both of those stocks are down about 10%. Uh, in the third quarter. Um, so if you look at mega cap tech, uh, with the exception of Apple, all mega cap tech stocks are essentially uh, down a little bit here. NVIDIA, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, as I mentioned, down about 11 percent. Meta's down about 6 percent. So big cap tech has not been the story, the major story, uh, in the third quarter so, so far. And uh, it's really remarkable. We're really dealing with two different months. July was fantastic, and August has been uh, horribly choppy right now. As far as the earnings, which is what I follow very carefully, they're holding up very well. The third quarter expectations were up almost 6%. That's a little bit lower than it was a month, a month and a half ago, but that's very typical as you finish the first month of the new quarter. They lower the numbers a little bit. The, th the third quarter of last year was very, very strong, so the comparisons are difficult. Uh, so we're up about 6% in the third quarter. And the rest of the year, this is what I was, I'm was. i saying, they've not dropped the numbers up 12, 13, 14 percent when you get into the fourth quarter, first quarter of next year, second quarter of next year, up 14 percent. Those numbers have been very, very stable over the last several months. So I guess, guys, what I what I look here I, it, for me as the stocks guy looking at the earnings, is there a fundamental reason for the downturn that we saw last week? I don't particularly see it. I see inflation trending lower. I see cuts expected in interest rates. I see slowing growth, but no recession out there. And I see earnings holding up. Guys, uh, there, there's a reason why the market's holding up very well. And, and most of the indicators still point to, uh, to the economy holding up reasonably well. Back to you. All right, Bob. Thanks for that.